Prince Harry, if you still want security for the family, make sure your mates at Netflix pay for it. Claimed by Sarah Vine Following Prince Harry recent protection row Sarah Vine had commend on the Daily Mail, Prince Harry does pick his moments, doesn't he? Just in case the Queen had temporarily forgotten about the nightmare that he and the Duchess of Sussex have visited upon her in recent months, here he is to remind her that, whatever other pressing issues she might have on her plate, it's all about him. What a whining, pathetic bore this man has become. What an entitled, tedious little ingrate. He's trashed his family, splashed his grievances all over the world's front pages and kicked his 95-year-old granny when she's down. Now he needs to make sure that he doesn't demand she, or the British taxpayer, has to stump up for his family's protection when they are in the UK. Let's be a no doubt, it was Harry and Meghan's own decision to leave behind their royal trappings in search of a different life in America. There's and there's alone. The are deluded themselves, she furiously react, the truth is they really didn't have to go. They went because they had convinced themselves that they were being poorly treated, when in fact they had every opportunity to make a success of things. They just couldn't be bothered to try. Which is fair enough, it's their life after all, their choice. But own it. Instead, they've spent the past two years blaming everyone else. When it was not other people's approach towards them that caused all their problems in the first place, it was their appalling attitude and their determination to see the slightest criticism as an act of aggression. Anyone who treated them with anything other than total sycophancy, even within the ranks of their own family and advisors, became an enemy. She continue. Truth is, we all adored them both until they started acting like a pair of woke evangelists, lecturing the world about how people should behave while demonstrating spectacular levels of hypocrisy and arrogance. Hopping on private jets when it suited them while going on about climate change, luxuriating in the generosity of the British taxpayer and the trappings of their royal standing while refusing to play their part with anything other than resentment and rancor, abandoning their duties for the sake of a life without responsibility but with a newfound opportunity to trade on their titles and status to secure lucrative deals abroad for spilling the royal beans. They cast themselves as victims at every turn, refusing to accept their own part in this tedious and never-ending drama. Fact is, they lost their taxpayer-funded security protection because they chose to relinquish their royal status and move halfway across the world to the sunny uplands of California. Meanwhile, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said there should be sufficient money goodwill and just common sense to make it possible for Prince Harry not to go to court against the Home Office. Mr Fitzwilliams noted the Duke of Sussex is no longer a working member of the firm but remains a prominent royal as the grandson of the Queen and second child of the future King. He told the I newspaper, Harry is no longer a senior working royal of course, but of course he is sixth in line to the throne. If he were for any reason to appear in court against Her Majesty's government, this would be in the realms of the surreal. The Duke of Sussex. Mr. Fitzwilliams also said, has understandable concern about his and his family's security, given the tragedy of Princess Diana's death. The late Princess of Wales died in a car crash in Paris in 1997 while being pursued by the paparazzi. He also said, surely there is enough sense around to arrange security if they want to come over, in one way or another, without a court case, because that really does seem somewhat daft. A legal representative of Prince Harry revealed over the weekend the Duke had filed in 2021 a claim for a judicial review against a Home Office decision not to allow him to pay for police protection while in the UK. The statement said the Duke has previously offered to pay personally for UK police protection. It read, after another attempt at negotiations was also rejected, he sought a judicial review in September 2021 to challenge the decision-making behind the security procedures, in the hopes that this could be re-evaluated for the obvious and necessary protection required. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With a lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. Prince Harry hopes that his petition, after close to two years of pleas for security in the UK, will resolve this situation. Harry already pays for his family's security in the U.S. but, the statement claimed, his security team cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the U.K.